So, so, uh, today, today, we're going to finish this motor. It's going to be done and, uh, possibly made it to the, uh, transmission. So, uh, depends how shit go. As you can see, I got a mess. I got to clean up. <clears throat> I just woke up. Don't mind the raspy voice. But, um, yeah, let's, uh, see, today we got, um, the IAT sensor came in today, which is in my hand. I'll tear this out the box right now. Maybe. This guy right here. So we're going to put that in here. And uh, we got to put the alternator bracket on. And uh, I'm going to take the fuel logs back off because this fitting right here needs to be on this side. So we'll swap them and then we'll run the hose over the blower. And then uh, as you can see there's kind of a fitment issue. So I'm going to have to figure that out. And then uh, actually before I do start I'm going to run to the parts store real quick. I need to get valve cover gaskets. So uh, when I get back we'll... Uh, start putting this together and uh, we'll go from there so when I get started it'll be on uh, time lapse but uh, I'm gonna run to the parts store grab the valve cover gasket and then uh, we'll get started Okay, so now we got the valve covers on, secured. We got the uh, fitting switched for the uh, fuel line, which we're about to install here in a second. Um, they just put it on this side for some reason. You just got to swap them out. And then uh, the line's going to go over top of the blower. Unless if you had a straight or it just and come straight out this way and you'd be able to run it on the other side of the blower don't really care too much, I did that on her car don't really care too much on this one so I'm fine with it going over the snow plus the exhaust is going to be like right here which you, you guys will see why I got this spacer but uh, yeah, supercharger's bolted down um, so next we're going to um, we're going to do the fuel line and then uh I'm going to put the temperature sensor back in with the thermostat <clears throat> and the housing, which I'm not going to fully bolt down because when I uh, fill the motor with coolant, I like to fill the engine first. That uh, reduces having air pockets in the system. So I, I'll do that once it's in the car. So I'll just snug it, snug it in. And then, uh, oh, you also got the uh, IET sensor installed. You guys will see how I do that. Um, so now we're going to be seeing temperatures post blower. So we'll actually see how hot this thing is pumping out. Um, a lot of you guys are probably wondering what size pulley I'm starting off with. I'm going to start on a 3.4. 
three four pulley um, do a couple hits just to see how the motor likes it and then uh, goal is to have it on a three two three one maybe but I'm gonna say a three two probably but we'll see what happens it's hard to say because usually like supercharged builds you do uh, headers but we're doing power logs and uh, there's a reason why we're doing power logs we'll find out but all right let's get back to work um, let's see I'm going to run it down one more time we're going to put the thermostat and the um, temperature sensor in we're going to run this line and then we're going to put the alternator bracket back on with the cooling elbows and then probably the alternator and then I will slap this pulley on and then I have to clean the throttle body which I'll come back in and we'll talk about that so uh let's get to work Alright, so we got the 180 thermostats in there. That's just sitting there snug. Like I said, when I um, get the motor in, I start filling fluids. I take the thermostat out and I pour coolant in the motor to reduce the uh, air pockets in the system. But uh, there's the temperature sensor that's in there. Fuel lines is done. Got that going in there. That's plumbed. Um, the three four pulleys on alternator pulleys on alternator pulley brackets on uh, yeah this motor is pretty much done the only thing I got left to do with it on the engine stand is uh, put the throttle body back on the uh, evap solenoid is in the car that's going back on and uh, I don't know as far as the EGR what I'm doing so if you notice on the time lap, I was like, kind of like, what am I, I was looking here and then I was looking over here. <coughs> I don't know if I'm going to uh, chain it right here and then over there. I don't know yet. I haven't made my mind up because I was going to do it this way, but I might do it this way just because of the transmission. If I need to, I'll take that back off but I don't think I will need to I think I should be alright chain shouldn't mess with it but if that happens then I'm going to chain it off of this head and that head which I'll have uh, the studs back on that side which I'm about to put them back on so the only thing left for me to do right now with the motor on the stand is to get the uh, throttle body back on so I need to clean that out first. And then, oh, if you didn't notice, this blower's ported. <laughs> I'm like, man, I wish I could have put this on Hellboy, but whatever. Yeah, the fucking inlet's ported, man. And uh, the bottom, the silent sensor's welded, and it's ported too, and so is the limb. I'm like, man, come on. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. Let me... Uh, Losing my train of thought, my boy. So I got to get this, this, these studs back on, which are on those heads right there. And then get the throttle body on. And then once I do that, then this motor can come off the engine stand. And then when we get it off the engine stand, we got to take the flex plate off and redo the rear main seal. Because it's leaking. But before I get to that part, what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to throttle body. Clean that up, put that back on. And then put these studs back on here and then I need to clean this work area because this is this is fucking bad so uh let me um get started with that and then uh we'll continue on all right so off camera 
got my work area cleaned up, got my, all my tools pulled away, so I got my battery on the tender when it's time to start it, and uh, once again, the motor is ready to come off the engine stand, so uh, now what I need to do is put the radiator hoses back in. I'm gonna do that off camera, and uh, I gotta put the uh, radiator hoses back in, and then I gotta take that transmission mount out, and then I need to run my wide band harness in there. So I'm gonna get that done. Oh, I need to put that bracket back on this guy right here. I'm gonna put that on real quick. Slap that on because I figured out how I'm gonna chain this motor. So I'm going to get this bracket on, off camera, put the chain on the engine, and then um, get the radiator holes and all that stuff done inside the car. And then when I put you by your guys back on camera, I'll be uh, about to take this engine off the engine stand and uh, we're going to do the rear main seal. And then hopefully, if everything is going good like it's going, we'll get the motor and transmit it on the trans the motor made it on the transmission so let's see what we can get done all right all right so i did quite a few things off camera so i got the radiator hose in um i didn't do the upper i just did the lower um let's see if i can you know, well, let me get a light for you guys so y'all can see See what I did. All right, so I got the lower holes in. Okay, I didn't do that one because I can get that from the top once the motor's in. I got my uh, wide band harness ran, tucked. That's it laying on the ground down there, and then I got the. Uh, motor transmission mount up so now motors off the engine stand and the way I got it I had to take off uh, that so the chain wouldn't break that and uh, I had it here at first but it was too close putting too much pressure on the valve cover so I moved it right there and then same thing over here away from the valve cover I got it rag so it ain't messing up the supercharger and yeah that's it you know everything is safe to jack it up this way so the way I'm putting it in is uh motor and trans together so that's why I got it like this but um now what we're gonna do is uh, I'm probably gonna put you guys right there but uh we gotta get the flex plate off and then change this main seal so uh let me get my tools together and then uh, let's get started. Alright, so we got the rear main seal out. I just have to put some more RTV right there. And then uh, I'm going to clean that up a little bit. Um, here's the cam. The neck. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, so I got to pull this gasket off here, and then pop that seal out. As you can see, that's where it was leaking at. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and get this done. I'm gonna do it off camera. And then uh, I'll put you guys on time lapse when I'm about to put this back together. All right. All right, guys. So we got the new seal on. Okay. And uh, here's the new gasket. So we got that all cleaned up as well. So now here's the old uh, the old seal. It's pretty bad. But uh. Damn, see how it crumbled? 
Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put this back together. Um, I got to put some RTV on the pan right here. And then uh, we'll get the um, rear main cover back on and then put the flex plate on. And then try to get this transmission mounted. Alright, so we got the new rear main seal gasket and uh, the new flex plate bolts and I uh, put some red Loctite on and uh, we're good to go. So now the next step is um, cleaning up my work area again and uh, I'm going to grab the transmission and uh, make the transmission and then uh, that will pretty much be a wrap for today. So. Uh, let me get my work area set up and then uh, we'll grab the transmission. All right. Transmission has made it to the motor. Got the, uh, can't see it, but the bitch bracket's back on. Let me grab this light. Bitch bracket's back on. So now what I'm going to do before I end it for the day is I'm going to get the flex plate bolts on because that's less things I got to do under the car. So let me uh, get you guys set up on the ground and uh, I'm going to get this done. All right, that'll do it. So uh, that's going to conclude today's episode of uh, Bolt for Bolt. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, and you literally see me do everything Bolt for Bolt. But motor's done, y'all. Everything has made it. And the cool thing about it is uh, when I drop it in, <laughs> I pretty much ain't got a lot to do. Except... Put the power steering pump on the AC compressor and the starter and then plug the harness in motors put together already um yeah so uh man that's that's great i did a lot um yeah like share and subscribe this page man um i'm really hoping this channel blasts off man that determines on what the future holds of what I'm going to do as far as the 3800 platform pretty much so all right until the next episode I'll catch you guys later <laughs>